and it's time for a proper overview of the 1979 digital stereo delay. In the upper left-hand corner, we have a switch that goes from modern to vintage. In modern mode, when you change the time bases, it goes discreetly from one to the other. In vintage mode, it emulates tape delay, and so you get pitch shifting, uh, glissandi. It's rather wonderful to have both choices. Below that is sync, and the switch in the up position enables sync, otherwise it's all out of sync. There's the main time base knob with delay times from 5 milliseconds to 2.73 seconds. It can be synced to an external clock with built-in clock dividers and multipliers as seen incrementally around the large time base knob. There are four modes of operation. In mono mode, audio comes in only through the left channel. The right channel is used then as a send return. In this mode, you could send and return to a 285E frequency shifter balance modulator, a 296E spectral processor, any of your favorite filters or other effects processors, a 1979 stereo microsound processor, or a 1979 digital resonator, among others. In dual mono mode, both left and right channel can accept audio, and output, of course, goes through output left and right. In feedback mode, again, only the left audio is active, and the right audio gets sent and return automatically to the feedback circuit inside the digital stereo delay. And this can bring you some really fun uh, experiments. And the fourth mode is ping or ping pong. Again, both left and right audio channels are active as well as their outputs. The middle section with the lights off on those two buttons, you can send control voltages to independently control the time base for left and right channels. With the buttons pushed in and lit up, they become manual pots, so you can adjust the time base by hand. The bottom section is feedback, which is control voltageable, and delay mix, also control voltageable with attenuverters. And the very bottom, left and right channel in, left and right channel out, right channel as you can see, can be a return and send. And then finally, the freeze. The freeze can operate two ways, either as a momentary or as a toggle on, toggle off. And be sure to check out my YouTube tutorials and demos on this module. Thanks for watching.